Okay, everybody, welcome to uh, the session on uh, how to implement profitable chargeback model in the cloud. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started, and um, I still see a few people uh, coming in, but, uh, you know, I have uh, 102, so we'll go ahead and get started. So I have about uh, 15 to 20 minutes worth of slides. Uh, we have 30 minutes total, so what I'll try to do is uh, cover the material uh, in about 15 to 20 minutes and then uh, allocate uh, enough time uh, for uh, questions and, uh, and answers. So agenda is uh, as follows. Uh, very briefly, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, vKernel. Um, then we're going to get right into the, the chargeback concepts. We're going to talk a little bit about um, chargeback visibility versus the actual process. We're going to talk about what to charge for, types of resources, and then we're going to have a lot of discussion. The bulk of our uh, slides is going to be on the chargeback models. You know, what are the right models, uh, how to think about it, how to tie it into your business uh, to make sure that you're implementing a profitable chargeback model, how to calculate the chargeback rates, and kind of a, what's the roadmap to charge back from, you know, where you are today to uh, where you want to go. Uh, so very briefly, a little bit about uh, vKernel. Uh, we have been in the virtualization management uh, space uh, since 2007. About 13,000 users around the world uh, using our software. One of the uh, original uh, chargeback software software vendors. Um, yeah, um, that's probably enough said. One many different uh, accolades and awards uh, in the industry, and um, uh, pretty well known uh, for chargeback and capacity and performance optimization. So let's first take a look at the evolution of the data center. Um, I think that will set the stage pretty well for, you know, where we're going to go with uh, today's presentation. So if you kind of trace the evolution of the data center uh, and the appropriate sort of chargeback models, I think it will, you know, put things in perspective. So the pre-virtualized data center, um, one application, one server, you know, mostly Windows boxes, no sharing of memory or CPU, limited sharing of storage. We essentially had uh, self-contained servers con running one application. The server was dedicated to an application. So from a chargeback perspective, you know, that was a pretty, um, let's say, simple model to implement. Uh, I call it the paper box model. You know, you uh, if it's an internal client, you charge them uh, to purchase the hardware and the licenses for the software. Um, if it's a, you know, if you're a hosting vendor, you again, sort of a, how big is the box, what do we need to have in terms of memory, CPU, storage, and then you charge them appropriately on a per box basis. Very straightforward, not a lot of uh, sort of uh, extra thinking that needs to be uh, done in a pre-virtualized data center. And then as the data center started evolving and, you know, where a lot of the organizations find themselves today is in a kind of a virtualized data center running on VMware or Hyper-V, and, and the big change is that the hardware resources um, 